Hey everybody, now we're going to look at our science lesson for this week. And we're going to be looking at the life cycle of frogs, how they go through change or metamorphosis from when they hatch out of their egg as tadpoles until they are adults and they are frogs. So we got a lot of fun things going on with this. Um, like I said in the reading lesson, I do have live tadpoles. And along the way, I'm going to add some videos and we can watch the changes that happen and see if some of the changes that we're going to learn about in this unit, we actually see happening with those tadpoles. So I'm looking real forward to that. So I want to start by sharing screen and we're going to go look at a PowerPoint. So we're looking at the life cycle of a frog. Frogs are amphibians. Now a lot of this stuff you'll need to remember, and I'll have this and I'll show you where you can access it, because you're going to be doing an activity with it and you need to know all this information and you can go back and look at this. Now amphibians live part of its life in water and part on land. Very young frogs don't look like their parents. They go through many changes as they grow. And these are examples of different types of frogs. And I believe this one's a toad. They're very similar to frogs. Here are characteristics of amphibians. We need to know that they're amphibians. We know that they live part in water and part on land, but there's also some other things about amphibians. They live on land and in water. They have webbed feet. They can breathe with lungs and gills. They are cold blooded. They have moist, smooth skin. They have no hair or fur on them. They have four legs, but sometimes they have none. Most of the time, four legs. And they lay many eggs. Now we're going to look at what is metamorphosis. Right here is looking at the life cycle and metamorphosis is in the middle. We're going to click on the picture to watch a song about metamorphosis. Now this is going to be available on the Clever page and if it doesn't work for you to click here, I also put the address down here and if it doesn't click there, you can copy and paste this. But let's see if this works. Now, one thing I'm not too sure about with this is if the sound will work for you. So that's why I wanted to put the link on Clever so that you can access it. So if you don't hear it this time, you can click on it on the Clever page and I'll show you how to get to there and you can listen to it then. So let's go.
All right. So now let's go back to our PowerPoint. And we were on this slide. Okay. I'm not sure for sure if you could hear it or not. Hopefully you did. If not, you can click on it and do it on your own. So we're gonna look at the life cycle. Stage one is first a frog begins as an egg. Adult frogs will lay eggs in an egg mass. And notice how some of these words are in different colors. They're important words and you'll need this later. We have stage two. Next the frog is a tadpole. A tadpole is a young frog with a tail and no legs. It breathes and swims in water using gills. Then we have stage three. The tadpole grows and becomes a young frog. A young frog has legs and has developed lungs to breathe. It is called a froglet. A froglet looks like a small frog but it still has its tail. That's the only difference between an adult frog and a froglet is the tail. And then we have stage four. The young frog's legs grow stronger and its tail gets smaller. It is now an adult frog. It is an amphibian because it is a cold-blooded vertebrate. That means it has a bone, a backbone and bones inside of its body and that it lives on land and water. So here we have a, a write-up about the frog life cycle. And you can see how it goes in the cycle, just like we did when we did our butterfly life cycle. Now frogs go through a life cycle. First, a frog begins as an egg. Next, the egg hatches, a tadpole swims out. We have the tadpole. A tadpole is a very young frog. It has a tail and no legs. A tadpole breathes and swims in the water. The tadpole grows and changes. It begins to grow legs. Then it becomes a young frog. Here we have the young frog. The young frog's legs grow stronger while its tail gets smaller. Last, it grows and changes to become an adult frog. An adult frog does not have a tail. An adult frog may lay eggs. The life cycle begins again. Here's where you tell what you know. This is your assignment with this lesson. You need to fo please follow these steps to do this interactive worksheet. Now, this is another new thing that I'm trying. So let's keep our fingers crossed that it works. Your teacher will have, whoops, sent you in an email. You all have an email. If you've not, I've got a second way to do this. But right here, if you do have an email, your teacher will have sent it to you and you can access this and you can type directly on it and then save a copy and send it back to your teacher finished where you've typed in your information. So you'll find the link to this sheet on your email. Make a copy. Now this is important. You don't start working on it until first you've made a copy of the original and take away the line and put your name in its place. I'll show you what that is in a minute. And then save it in your Google Drive. Oops. Now click on the text boxes. Do you see where it says type here, type here, label here? You'll go in there and you'll get in. Those are little text boxes right here. Every place you see type here and label here, there's where you go in, you click in it, and you will take those words out and put what you need to have in it. If you can't get the interactive sheet to work, make a copy of the next slide and then send a picture in an email or a mind message after you have finished it. Just like last week when you did your My Math pages, you finished those and your parents took a picture and sent it 
to your teacher through a remind message or email. That will work again with this. And here's what it looks like. So you don't see the words type here or put text here. It's all for you to do it by handwriting it in. So I'm going to go to a different screen now. So if you're going to try to do the interactive in your email, you would go to your Gmail right here and it gets you there. As a teacher, I have to go a different way, but it'll look like this. It'll come from me I'm saying via Google Slides and it'll say Blank's Life Cycle of a Frog. So you'll click on that and it'll say Open in Slides. So you'll open it. And remember I said that you need to take the line away and put your name. But before you do that, you need to go and do file, make a copy. And you'll want to do entire presentation. And it'll come up here and it'll say copy of. You want to click there and backspace where all the line is and copy of. And then type your name. I'm going to write it as if I'm a student. And name it your name, Robin's Life Cycle of a Frog. Okay. And then you will click OK. And now it's got this copy saved with my name on it. And that's important so I'll know who this is coming from. So now, you can go in, now this is kind of small, so I'm going to try to make it be a little bit bigger so we can see it a little bit better. Okay. Hopefully you can see it all right. So right here, this is a text box, and see where it says type here? So you get in there and get your cursor, the line blinking, and go backspace. And there, you would type your name in that text box. Now, right here, it says label the life cycle. Here's pictures of the life cycle. Here are the words to use. So right here, number one is this one. So you'll go here, and you'll take where it says label here, and then you look at which one is this. Is it an adult frog, an egg mass, a froglet, or a tadpole? Well, this is an egg mass, so I'll just look and see how to spell egg and mass and type it in there, and I click out of it, and now it's got that there. You'll do the same with all these around here, where it says label here. Over here, you have vocabulary, and down here, you have your vocabulary words. So right here is a vocabulary definition, and then below it, where it says type here, you'll click in your text box and then backspace to take type here away, and then find which of these words is this the meaning of. Now, if you're having difficulty trying to remember this, you can pull up that slideshow presentation that we just did. And remember that I told you those green words were going to be very important? Those are all in that slideshow, and they all were right here, and you will go along with what we have here. So you can go ahead and have that open and look at that if you need to. Now right here it says explain the metamorphosis of a frog. So right here you have type here. You'll get rid of those words and begin typing there the metamorphosis. First it is the egg mass. A frog lays eggs. Then you tell what happens next. 
after that, and then the end, and then all of a sudden it comes back to happen again. You're going to write those in complete sentences. You can also refer back to the PowerPoint presentation where there was a little write up to the side with a picture of the life cycle to the side with real photographs. You can use that slideshow presentation to help you with this. Then down here in this, we have characteristics of amphibians. You click in here, do backspace, and then you would type in complete sentences. What are the things that makes an amphibian? They are characteristics of amphibians, and that is in one of the slideshow presentation of the squares there. So you go back and refer to that. When you're done, always you're working on this, it automatically saves it. You don't have to click any save. Every time you make a change, it automatically saves it. When you're done and you're ready to send it to me, up here's a share button. You click share and down here you type in my address. When you've got me, click send, and I will get it in an email. And that's how you turn it in to me. So that's how you would do this if you have access to do the interactive on email. Now, if you're having difficulty doing that, you could open up your slideshow presentation and have your parents um, try to print it and you type on and write on it with pencil would be fine too. So if you have any trouble, just let your teacher know, okay? Right. Now, I want to go and share something else. I didn't really need to go off of that. On your Clever Teacher page, you have this week's, or the last week's now, and this new week, April 6 through 9, here is the Mysterious Tadpole. That's the story you're reading and reading. And then on Brain Pop Junior, you'll need to go there, go to your dashboard. Yours might look a little different from mine, but you'll have Frog's assignment. And you, all you're going to be doing is watching the movie. And then hopefully, you know, we had a little bit of trouble last week, but hopefully this week you can do the quiz. Let's see how that goes. So that's one thing that goes with this with science. And then we have a Wix website, which is not working right now. Okay. But on that Wix website, let me see if I can pull it up another way. Don't know why the link's not working. You won't do it this way. This is going through how I created it. little bit different from what I had before. Hmm. My size. Here we go. So, okay, here's what it will look like. Hopefully by the time that you're ready to do it, it's going to work, okay? This is called Fabulous Frog Fun. This is all for fun. This is not required. This will be on your optional. But 
if you need to go to the slideshow, I wanted to show you this because this is where you go to get up on the slideshow right here. It says click on the picture for the slideshow from the science lesson. And see, I've got a little hand and I click on it. Now, it doesn't automatically come up. It comes down here in the bottom. It downloads it. And then when you're ready, you open it up. And there you have the slideshow with all those slides with the information in the video for you to watch, okay? So I wanted to show you that because that's how you access that slideshow. Now, these little tabs all have fun websites with different activities you could do that has to do with frogs in the life cycle. Now, on this one, you have to go down and click on Kids Corner. And then go all the way down and find where it talks about frog life cycle. Quite a ways down. Right here. All about frogs for kids and teachers. And then here are things that you read about frogs. And I have a web quest in which you are trying to find specific things about frogs. And then right here, you go down and it will be almost at the end, a link for life cycle of a frog. And a web quest is where I've got specific questions and you've got to try to find them and the neat things about it, about frogs and the life cycle you need to find. So that's on that website. And that one is optional. It's not required. Here's another one for fun that you don't have to do, but it's a frog's life. It's real neat to read this one. This is time for kids. Then we have a game about the frog life cycle. You just follow the directions how to play the game. If it says, oops, just click here and it'll automatically bring down program so you can play it. And then we have, I found this life cycle symbol loop, which has all kinds of neat things about life cycles. You can do life cycles. We have live webcams, other animal life cycles. We don't just have to study about one or two types. And here's one where you get down here and you really look at the frog. And if you want to go back and review about butterfly life cycles, you can. All right. So this is all just for fun. None of it's required. But I wanted to show you this because you do need that to access the slideshow so that you'll have it when you're working on this page. Mm -hmm. Make sure I've got everything you needed to have on here. Okay. So that's what we're doing for science. For your required work is to watch that presentation and then do that interactive page if you're able to access it or have your parents print out that other one and just write on it and then send a picture of it for your turning in. And again, if you have any trouble with any of it, call or send a message to your teacher. We're there to help you out. So if it doesn't work, it's just a still trying out the new things to see what works the best. So have fun and keep looking on the Clever page along the way. Maybe on the Wix website, I may add some more videos of the real tadpoles I have here. Um, and we'll let, when that happens, your teacher will send a message out saying check for the new video of the tadpoles. And that could be something you could write about in your daily journal about what you're seeing happening with the changes, what were they doing. Um, that will be a good thing for you to add in your journal if you wanted to. So looking forward to uh, seeing and hearing about what all you see. Some of you may have ponds around and you can go look for tadpoles there. So we'll see you later and have a good time.